Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to download the characters from Mizamo.com and import into your Unreal Engine 5 game project. First step, enter the Mizamo.com. You have to sign in the Mizamo.com by using your Gmail account or Google account. Next, click the characters here. You can see here you have a lot of free characters that you can download for your game project. As demo, I will just choose one, the Maria. Click and use this character. Now you have to wait for the loading. Just wait for a while until it finish loading. Next, click download. Right now you can see the Maria is downloading. It is an FBX file, you have to wait for a while. Now finish downloaded, just to have a click and show in folder. This is the FBX file that you want to import into your Unreal Engine 5, the latest version Unreal Engine 5. Now you can close the Mizamo.com, close the browser. As demo, I will put, put Maria on desktop. This is the TPOS FBX file. All right now, this is Unreal Engine 5 editor. As demo, I will just create a new game project, a third person game. The project name, I will just name it as Mizamo to UE5, Unreal Engine 5 demo. All right, now I create a new game, new third person game. Click create. Now a new game loaded. As the first step, if this is your first time to, to enter the Unreal Engine 5, all the GUI will look like this. You have to go to the window, the viewport, make sure, make sure you take one of the viewports. The content browser, take one of the content browser so that you can see all the folders. Of course, you can move, to, move it to anywhere that you like. This is a content browser. By default, I will just put it at the bottom. Next. I will click the window and place actors here. I will put the place actor just at the side. All right, next. 
under the content browser click the contents back to the content folder here I will, I will just create a new folder right click new folder Mizamo Mizamo avatar double click into that folder next step drag in the FBX file that you had downloaded from Mizamo.com just to drag in Skeleton Mesh Alright Now click import all And wait for a while This is a message log, you can close it After it finish Now, where is the Maria? Back to the content folder, it is inside your Mizamo avatar, this is Maria. Now, you can see all the texture already loaded And this is the Maria Skeleton Mesh And this is the Maria Skeleton Double click the Skeleton The first step, the first step you need to do is click the Retarget Manager Select Rig Make sure you make it become the Humanoid Rig Click select humanoid rig And then All of the targets you have to plot it The root you can just put it as none The next is a pelvis You choose hip Then Spine Spine 1 Spine 2 Make sure you follow exactly the same at here. After the spine two is the left shoulder. Then the left arm. Left forearm. left hand next start from here the clavicle hour you have to choose right shoulder the upper arm choose the right arm right forearm the hand hour you have to choose right hand the neck zero one choose neck neck is it here The head already plotted. Now, the tight, the left tight, you have to choose left up leg. The next one is left leg. Left foot Now your left tree, the tight R You have to choose right up leg
then right leg the final one is the right foot all right now just follow all the, all the orders here and click save Next, you have to modify the pose. Click the skeleton tree. Make her become an A pose. The right arm, make it down. And here, the forearm, just lightly. Go to the front. Sorry. Left forearm. Go to the front. Now, she already looked like an A pose. The arm should go down a little bit. Look like A pose. Next, click save. Back to the retarget manager, the modified pose, use current pose. All right, now you can close the skeleton. Next, click the content and double click the mannequin folder. Double click the character. Double click the mesh folder. You can see here you have an you have a skeleton here, mannequin skeleton. Just to double click it. The retarget manager is here. If you don't have the retarget manager, you can click here to activate it. Select rig, you have to select exactly the same. Select humanoid rig. Save and close. Alright. So now, of course, you can delete this. All right, next, click the content folder again. Double click the mannequin. Now, this time you select the animation. You can see the third person animation blueprint is here. Right click it. Retarget, duplicate animation blueprint and retarget. Now, you can see Maria is here. Click Maria to select it and then click retarget. Now immediately, you can see under your content browser, it jump back to the content. Now, you have this third person animation blueprint. Next step, you have to right click and rename this, add an underscore behind that, and you name it Maria. You must rename it so that you will know that this is the Maria's animation blueprint. Next step. Click the content, and double click the third person blueprint. It's under the blueprint. You can see the only third person blueprint it is the mannequin. If you play the game, if you play test to play the game, the main character is the mannequin. So now you want to change the main character to become your Mizamo avatar. Press escape back to here. 
first you must delete this you must delete this guy press delete button to delete it and make sure your map already contain the player starts if you don't have any of the player starts you have to drag out from place actor if you, you cannot see any of the place actor you can go to the window and make sure you tick the place actor make sure you have a player start at here now if you play the main avatar is the mana queen I press escape next you want to make the game avatar to be maria the character the avatar that you downloaded from mizamo.com so the third person character here you have to right click and duplicate behind there it automatically add a one so you press backspace to delete the one and then you insert underscore maria enter now this is the third person character maria double click next click the viewport and then click the mesh now you can see the skeleton mesh is chosen that is SK Mana Queen you have to choose the Maria next the animation mode is under the animation the animation class you have to choose the third person animation blueprint Maria that you had renamed just now all right now you can see Maria already have some animation there you can click compile and then click save now you can close it however if you if you click play now the main avatar still the mana queen so press escape you you only left the final step click edit click project setting the next step maps and modes here you can see selected game mode default pawn class you have to change it to third person character maria the one that you already created just now the name choose it it automatically will save under the project setting just close it now we try to test play the game we try to play you can see your main avatar already become maria it totally changed your Unreal Engine 5 main character by using the Mizamo avatar. And that's all for today about how to download any of, of the avatar from Mizamo and even by using your own, own avatar upload to Mizamo to auto rig it and download it. Next, you import into your Unreal Engine 5 and make the avatar to be your main avatar and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3d animation and game developing you can subscribe to this youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell to activate all the, the notifications so that when next time i publish a new video tutorial you receive the notification immediately see you in my next video enjoy Happy animation and game developing. See you.